now we've just had that poonam pandey stunt happen right, right? right that would probably be an ice break question like what the fuck was that what do you think of that i mean i think if their end agenda was publicity they got it but i feel like as someone who's had friends who's lost parents and family members to the dreaded c word i think it was the most disgusting way to do it you can't you can't fake your own death in the name of publicity and creating awareness about cervical cancer it's not something you fuck around with i'm sorry like i can't even imagine and this happened actually this happened over the weekend and i literally had one of my i don't know if she's okay with me saying this but one of my closest childhood friends lose her dad i'm sorry and he passed away from cancer different kind of cancer but in my head i'm like can you think of the number of people who would have seen that and thought to themselves like oh god another person's passed away to cancer and this time it's a someone you know in the public eye right mm. and then the next day you wake up and you realize it's a stunt can you imagine how angry they must be yeah horrible it's so i don't use the word trigger lightly but this is a triggering incident mm. and it doesn't matter how much cervical cancer has trended or how much you know poonam pandey trended and how many people have now decided to go check themselves and you know get the vaccine and everything else this is not the way to have done it mm. that is my personal opinion like if you thought like you're a marketing genius for faking someone's death and then be like oh, no we were trying to spread away no 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 what you've done is without realizing probably triggered thousands of people who've actually had to deal with or have it happen to someone very close to them hmm. and that's not cool yeah you're taking things very lightly no you've for taken granted. it like yeah and it also felt like i mean like you know another way for a personality who felt like maybe they were becoming irrelevant to stay relevant i'm sorry i'm not going to mince words about this but like the reason we know of poonam pandey largely in the like i mean i've been for as long as i've been around is one because she had wanted to go she had said she'd go naked if uh, india wins the world cup i think this was when in 2004 of uh, 2004 ha huh, 2004 mm-hmm. ke aas pass and now it's this and in between of course she's popped up over the years and this and that but everyone's talking about poonam pandey now on cervical cancer and i don't think most people are going like oh my god what awareness was created five like mm. slow clap for you no mm. yeah not yeah. cool at all i don't know what's mm. your take on it did you think y- yeah i mean uh, there are better ways i mean marketing naam pe kuch bhi nahi kar sakte na aap Correct. i mean there are various forms of marketing there are various types of marketing uh, there are various ways to garner eye- eyeballs and attention but in the name of cervical cancer for sure no yeah. i mean theek hai awareness attention all of that is okay but but at the cost of what yeah like you are literally playing around which is not the right thing to do because there are people who are losing their lives because of all sorts of cancer i know one of my uh, dad's very close friends uh, lost his life to cancer uh i know a couple of people who are dealing with it right now mm. and it's a horrible thing uh horrible position to be in and to joke about it to to use it as a marketing medium sure not cool like i know the thing is also deepak and now we've gotten a little serious mm. i mean i feel like every time now we hear of someone dying and especially if it's someone in the public eye dying it also triggers a lot of other emotions right mm. where um i've been talking about this a lot with like close friends um my team and like how you know we've become a very slightly sad and lonely generation despite the fact that we might have the best of friends great family probably good partners all of that but there is this i don't know covid has left this hint this tinge of sadness in all of us right so now when we hear about deaths it's a lot more triggering than before like now it's not like oh another person has died it's not like people haven't been passing away over the years right but now especially when a public personality dies and they die of something preventable it's even more like oh god oh what like i mean it it is that kind of a reaction and then it it you know earlier it might have been a oh what reaction and you move on with your life now it's an oh what and you're thinking about it the whole day i don't know right. is that making sense yeah, to you does, like post covid i feel like when we hear of public personalities passing away of something that was preventable or in a lot of cases them taking their own lives or you know due to other reasons there are a lot like oh shit yeah i need to look back at my life and mm. reevaluate and then real, next day agar aapko lagta hai ki aapka mazak uda uda gaya you're just like 
आई डेंट नीड दैट है मेरे कंधों पे इनफ बोझ ऑलरेडी ये नहीं चाहिए था मुझे आई डेंट नीड दिस सिटिंग इन माय हेड एज वेल या दिस मेक्स आई मीन आई डोंट नो वेरी वेरी स्टूपिड अननेसेसरी मार्केटिंग टैक्टिक टू सॉर्ट ऑफ ब्रिंग अबाउट अवेयरनेस फॉर समथिंग दैट इज सो सीरियस एंड सो आई डोंट नो मतलब पीपल लूज लाइव्स टू कैंसर on a daily basis and yeah. various ways to do spread awareness about it surely this is not the one 